Hey YouTube, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to install uh, the digitizer back on your uh, iPads. This is for the iPad 2, 3, uh, and 4. Okay? So, this is my brand new uh, digitizer with the glass panel with a flex cable you need to put the digitizer back on first before you install the LCD so this is kinda tricky okay Make sure the tab are open and then you try to insert it in the flex cable. Okay, just try to push in as far as you can. I'm not sure it's gonna go. I think that's the farthest as far as you can. After that, you press the tab down to lock it in position. Then now you can put it in the, your uh, digitizer. I mean, uh, your uh, LCD panel. That's a connection right there. And you want to put back the block tape that goes on top of the flex cable and then those uh, two connectors. So here's a digital, I mean a LCD uh, panel. There you go. You press in the tab to lock it in position. And take out the tape. And put it back in between the connector and then the flex cable. So now you can sit in the LCD first. Make sure the bottom of the flex cable for the digitizer is uh, sitting properly.
Then you gotta put in this uh, home button. Gotta be very careful. So I'm trying to do this in one hand, it's kind of difficult. Sit down like that then flat. Let me use my original screw. I guess the one that uh, screw that come with it is not like fitting properly.
this is the original screw that I, uh, that I took it out from the iPad. So it fit in there nicely compared to the one that they supply. So you want to save all the old parts just in case if the new parts does not work right. So let me show you all the screens are dust free and you are ready to put it in. But oh, let me put in the LCD screws. There are four screws, one, two, three, four. You put in one, don't tie it right now. Just put it in position for now, don't tie it yet because you have to do some adjustment. So if everything look good, then you can start tightening one corner at a time or try to go around. So now you can see all the screws are in. So make sure you use a microfiber cleaning cloth so the dust won't be not, will not, will not be on the screen. I cleaned it early already, so I'm just gonna slightly wipe out the dust or lint. <clears throat> so by using the flathead screw uh, driver, you want to remove all the double-sided tape on the new screen. Uh, mine is already uh, pre-install so all, all I need to do was uh, to uh, remove the tape
And then make sure the flex uh, cable is set on right. And you gotta make sure you take out the protective uh, inner plastic protector. And this is for the screwdriver. Make sure the flex cable is set in like a Z. Z. So the flex cable is bent like that. Make sure it's going down like that, okay? You want to start laying down from the left to right. Uh, just a camera frame. It's not sitting right. So because I didn't put the digitizer uh, cable all the way in, I only put like a halfway. That's why when I touch it earlier, it won't respond to it. So right now it's working fine. I'm just going to show it to you. 
I don't want to keep on entering the wrong code and then it got disabled. So right now uh, everything works. So uh, lucky I didn't put the panel all the way in yet. So before you take out the double sided tape, you want to make sure you test it out first. Uh, your digitizer is working uh, before you put in the uh, the front panel. I know it's a little bit more work to test it out, but uh, in the long run, it's worth a while. So. Uh, so this is my tutorial on how to put the digitizer in for your iPad 2, 3, or uh, 4. Let me see if I can show it to you then. I don't want to get sticky on it. You see how this uh, two uh, white line from the flex cable is all the way in now. Uh, last earlier I put in like a, almost a halfway in, so that's why it's uh, losing contact. So. That was my mistake. Make sure you press uh, press in all the way in toward the uh, connector, and after that, and test it out, and then uh, your screen should be working fine. So this is my tutorial on how to uh, put it on. Make sure you uh, like this video, subscribe to our channel. And then uh, share this with your friends or fam families if they are thinking about buying a new one to replace the uh, crack screen. Uh, I'm going to include the link below to show you the tutorial on how to remove the iPad 2, 3, or 4. Okay, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. Okay.